My name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the ACT. We have been solving ACT math problems out of this book here, the official ACT prep guide. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we are about to solve are the ones that you will find on page number 317. Please turn to it. Page number 317 and today is our lesson number 36. It is in fact a problem, not problems. We are just going to do one problem and that problem is the very first problem that you see on page number 317. And when I say very first problem, I just realized there are only two on the page there. So the, the first problem and not the, not the second one. Problem number 53. Let's take a look at it. Problem number 53 deals with what is known as an arithmetic sequence. It is no, what is known as an arithmetic sequence. Let me change the marker. This marker is not quite dark enough. We are told that on the first day we made 24 calls. On the first day we are told that we made 24 calls. Our goal, we are told that our goal was to make, was to make five more calls each day than the day before five more calls each day than the day before and we are told that on the first day we made 24 calls so here is our first day let's call it n1 n1 for the first day so this is this is equals to n1 our first day and then on the, on the next day we'll make five more than the first day which is 29 and then five more than that which is 34 and then five more than that 39 and so on and so forth so on and so forth and this is called an arithmetic series the difference that you see there between the first, between the difference that we see there between any two adjacent entries, any two consecutive entries, is what is known as the arithmetic difference. The arithmetic difference here is positive 5. We have to specify the sign whether it's positive 5 or negative 5 because it could also be negative number. We could be going down. Whatever we made on the first day, each day we made two, two less than before or five less than before, in which case the difference would have been negative five, or it would have been a negative quantity. Here we're making five more calls, more, five more calls each day than the number of calls that we made the day before. And hence the difference is five. Each time it goes up by five. The question simply is, how many calls, right, right let's put down the question here. How many calls, how many total calls, how many? total calls were made how many total calls were made how many how how many total calls were made in the first 20 days? It's a very simple, very straightforward question and so is the answer if you understand what an arithmetic series is and if you happen to know the classical way of solving this problem. Listen very carefully, okay? There are two ways we're going to solve this problem. There are two ways we're going to attempt this problem. One is what I call the classical way, the traditional way, the orthodox way, the geeky way, the nerdy way, the academic way, the mathematical way, the freakish way. And that freakish way, the, that academic way, is to actually know the formula by heart. And some people do it. Some people know the formulas by heart. I don't. But we're going to do the academic way first anyway. And in the next video, tomorrow, and tomorrow, on day number 37. When I say tomorrow, it doesn't necessarily mean tomorrow. It's just in the next video. Whenever I get a chance to make the next video, day number 37, I'm going to actually show you how to do the exact same problem without actually knowing the formula. There is a way 
of cheating the system and I'm going to show, you, show, that, show that to you. I'm going to show you how to cheat the system, how to solve this problem without actually knowing the formula. But right now let's do it the classical way with the formula. And the formula goes something like this. The formula goes something like this. We need the, we need the room and we need a lot of room so we're going to start from the top. We're going to put our formula there and we're going to just plug in the values. The sum of an arithmetic series sum of an arithmetic series, let's call it S. I think I picked up that marker again, the one that is dying. Let me get rid of it completely. If I don't get rid of it completely, I'm going to keep picking it up every two seconds. So some of the sum of the arithmetic series we're calling it S, and this S, the sum, this S is equal to n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. That's it. So if you happen to know this formula, it's very simple, very straightforward. All we have to do is plug in the values here of different variables and we're done. We look, we're interested in the sum. Sum of what? We're interested in the sum of the first, first 20 days. So n is 20. We're looking for n equals to 20. We also know that the difference is 5. Each day we make 5 more calls than the day before. So our difference, what is known as the arithmetic difference, which is letter D, is positive 5. Just plug it in and that's it, we're done. So S, the sum is equal to 20 over 2, 20, because N is equal to 20, we are doing the first 20 days, times 2 times A, I, I didn't explain that part, A is the first term. A is the first term. We have to know the value of the first term, otherwise we can't go anywhere, because we have to know what the first, what we started out with, what the first term is, and then we, have, we need to know how much does it go each time, how much, how much goes up, or how much does it go up or down. It goes up or down each time by a constant amount, and that's called the arithmetic difference. The first term we are told is 24. We are told in the problem that on the first day we made 24 calls. So there's your A. Plus N minus 1. N is our 20 minus 1 times d which is 5. That's it, we're done. We just have to simplify it and that's all there is. Let's do it, shall we? Let's do it out together. So this is very simple. 10, 20 divided by 2 is just 10. 2 times 24 is just 48. Plus 20 minus 1 is 19. So it's 19 times 5. And how much is 19 times 5? Let's find out. It's very simple, 19 times 5, we know, 19 times, we know 19 times 10 would have been 190. Listen carefully, 19 times 10 would have been 190, not would have been, it is 190, and therefore half of that is, well half of 100 is 50, and half of 90 is, half of 90 is 45, so it's 50 plus 45 is 95. So it's 10, 40, 48 plus this amount is 95. And 48 plus 95, 13, carry 1, 10 plus 4 is 14, there we go. So it's 10 times 143, which is 1430. And that's all. And the answer is D. And like I said, in tomorrow's video, not only we will do this problem, not only we will do this problem the classical way, or rather, not only we will do this problem the non-traditional way, the non-classical way, the unorthodox way, which is to say that we're going to solve this problem without using this formula at all, but I'm also going to show you how to eliminate impossible answers here. There are two or three answer choices that you can eliminate as definite wrong answer choices, and then after that, once you once you recognize that these two or these three answer choices are not possible, after that if it turns out if you don't know what else to do, at least you have raised your art, at least you have raised your art to one out of three or one out of two. A 50% chance on a question that you didn't know how to solve is a very good chance. A third, third of a chance, a 33% chance on a problem that you had no idea how to solve, again is a very good chance. In which case, just you narrow down your answer choices. In other words, I'm going to show you how to guess intelligently in a situations where if you do not know how to actually tackle the problem. But we'll do all of that. We'll do all of that tomorrow in the next video. Okay, on day number 37. All right. Bye now.